is Cinema. And this is Johannes. And you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And welcome to another episode of Keep or Co. <laughs> yes, this is where we play through our whole collection of about 600 games and also add the around 100 plus new games we're getting throughout the year. Yes. So we have, this has been two, two weeks now and how do you feel? I feel like this challenge is growing because Johannes here is like continuing to buy <laughs> new games. This is not what we agreed upon. <laughs> <laughs> and the problem is like there's Kickstarters coming in, there's review copies coming in, uh, all the review copies and all that is not counted to this, but we are playing them and we yeah, need we to are play them. them yeah. So the stats we're coming with is basically less than the games we played because we also play games for review. Yes. Uh, so it's been a fun week, I think, but I'm, I'm starting to feel because the first week we played 24 games, but a lot of them are really small games. Oh yeah, it's going to be when we dive into our shelves with the big heavy euros, uh -huh. it's going to slow down and there's also going to be harder for me to cull some of those games, I think. Absolutely, and the thing now I feel is it's important for us to not inflate the numbers too much, like yes. not to play only small games and then we end up with week we'll play like five games because we can only play one each night. Yes. So we, we have then also have some of those small games in reserve. Yeah, we need to like in between two, three big games it's nice to have a little filler to relax your head mm -hmm. a little and just be a little puzzly. And so far this is very positive for me because I'm now in like a board game time, like period. Yes. Uh, but sometimes my brain kind of goes into some like, oh no, I want to play video games for 100 hours like we did earlier this year. So it's going to be interesting when we come to that and see how we can still make this positive because we, we have to keep this positive because it, if, if board games become boring because of yeah, this. Yeah, we then... don't want to burn out. No. We have burned ourselves out on some hobbies before and we do not want to do this with board games, so... And we have done that by doing extreme things in that hobby, so... <laughs> uh, but this, I feel like this is less Ooh. extreme, actually. Oh, yeah, but, okay. Yes, yeah. so we are going to dive into some stats and then we're going to dive into the games because that's why you're here. Yes. You have to listen to all these games and see which one you can get. And the rules for how you're getting them that is coming hopefully next week. We're just yes. finalizing a couple of things and we're going to make a video called, like, how are you going to get our games? or something like that. Yes. So, Rules. this this week we didn't play 24 games, we played 22 games. That's still pretty good. Uh, seven of those were new to us, so seven games we had not played before. Yep. Uh, we spent... How many hours do you think we spent playing? Hmm, oh, this is the hard question because my, in like, in, interception, no, understanding of th in, uh, this, time yeah. is non-existent, I yes, think. Yes, that's true. So, so think, you're guessing like, one hour. I think I've played like two work days of games. No, that is too much. I mean, like 14 hours. We spent 20 hours playing games oh, this week. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so more than the, I thought. A couple of those hours were for review games, but, uh, but other than that. And then, the most important thing, how much did Sunua win? That's the thing everybody is waiting to know. Ah, but I don't know if I won this much this week. You did not. I am the winner of you the Sunua are... wins, because Sunua oh, no. won 8 times and I won 14 times. I think there has been a mistake. And people who know Moth is coming to say, like, that's not enough times, uh, I think. I don't, Oh, it's actually 20. One. Yeah, it's too little. But we did play with other people who also want games. Yes. But that is that, that is, is why we we only it's not only us playing right now. So we are just gonna jump into it. Twenty two games. Uh, we got a suggestion to do it kind of opposite from what we did last time, yes. which makes a lot Thank of sense. Thank you so much for that suggestion. It and makes a lot of sense. Everybody did it basically. So like, do it opposite. So that is actually tense. What we choose here is so we're gonna do the choosing first, and the, then the we're gonna show the, show the game first. Because no. if we don't show <laughs> the game, it's like, one, two, three, oh. boom, okay, cool. So we're going to show the game, show the world, and then speak about it. Okay, game. should we just start? Yes. First up, we have Baron Park. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to do this first, yeah, and I right? Yeah, I was going to jump into the yes. game now, so it's pretty hard. So yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. I, this was not a surprise. Uh -huh. uh, this is a Polymino game where mm -hmm. you're building a Baron Park. Uh, we played it recently with the expansion. I like the expansion, but I think also the main game is solid as is. This is an evergreen for me. This is one of my favorite tile laying games. Mm -hmm. So I was I was a bit unsure actually oh, yeah. about this because I find it fun, but I don't know when I will choose to play it. But it's one of those very and because the setup is so fiddly, there's oh, other yeah. games that like you can play in the time it takes to set up this game. And uh, so it will stay for now. And I knew that if I chose Call, you would be Yeah, sad. I would fight you on this. So so we are this keeping is it. So one that I keep, really like. Keep pile over at my side this time. Oh yeah, okay, we can do it like that. Yes, next up we have Blue Lagoon from yes. Ryan Knizia. So one, two, three. 
Yeah. Oh. Yes. I, was, I have I was, changed my mind. Because you didn't like this game the first time you played. Yes. Uh, you can speak about it if you want to. No, it's more important. Like, like I like this game. I always like this game. It's a, it's a very quick, nice, like super mm. simple. Which is what I can say is a very good thing. Like yeah. it's making this very simple game, but with very deep gameplay. This is a game with a lot of blocking, a lot of trying to just get in the other player's way. But it doesn't bother me because it's such a short game and it's so. Quick, the turns are super duper quick and it's just fun. Yeah, I played it two players first time uh -huh. we played it and it wasn't that fun, but now we played it three player and I can see that it really shines the interaction. I think it will be really mean at four players, uh -huh. and but, so uh, but really fun games. I, I changed my mind. Changed your mind, so we are keeping. So, so yes. far it's uh, two for two for keep. Two for two for keep. Next up we have Tiny Towns. So we're going to vote first. One, two, three. Yeah, it's another keep. Uh, this is one of my favorite city building games. Oh, it's so fun when I get to play these games that I really, really love. And Tiny Towns is one of them. Uh, this can also be a really mean game. You're building a city with these little cubes with colors, but you're not picking the colors yourself. Everyone is picking and they're taking up space. So it's really like seeing the opportunities and trying to block the other players mm -hmm. from getting what they want. Fun game. We played the expansion. That was fun as well. I like Tiny Towns. Yes. Okay, so next up then we have this. A game I bought at a store one time. Yep. One, two, three, boom. Yeah. Yeah, we agree on this. Like, it's a fun game. It's a time game, like a, a, a speed game. Uh, nobody likes playing speed games with me because I'm the you best always at speed win, games. Yes. So these are the games you're not just gonna call because she doesn't like losing. Yeah, this so, is not like, it's an okay game. I just don't like stress games. Because yeah. I win. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we are calling Ghost Blitz. Then we have Ricochet Robots. Okay, so, one, two, three, boom. Yeah, we're very much agreeing today. Uh -huh. This is a pure puzzle game where you're trying to move these robots, like they're bouncing, like they can turn on walls, but not else, yeah. Check it out if you like puzzle games. This works in my brain. You're very good at this as well. It's very hard to win over you. This is just nostalgia and puzzle and it, it works for my brain. It's very funny, but I think most people are more funny if I don't play. Like this is <laughs> one of those games where I just, I annihilate people when we yeah, play this. This is not about winning for me. I just wanna see where the robot can go. You can say that to yourself when you lose. Okay, <laughs> so that's Ricochet Robot. Yes. We are keeping that. Then we have Sagrada. This is one we haven't played. I think it was like three, four years. I think maybe 2018, maybe so two, three years since we played it. Yes. So uh, let's see what we think. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. we agree. I thought we I were going to go. I have changed my mind again. I keep for this. I, yes. Yeah, this is. I, oh, are you taking this? Oh, sorry. I thought it was mine. Yeah, it is like, Because it was my game. <laughs> okay, so this is a, a, a good game. I enjoyed it. It is has some very nice things. It's a drafting dice drafting game, which is a bit too lucky for me. And has a couple of things I don't like. It was very good to play it again, but I think somebody else will enjoy it more. Uh, I discovered that it is an app for this. That is why I'm okay with calling it. Yeah, so basically, basically every game has an app. It's gonna get killed. Yeah, but uh, this is a, a puzzle for me as well. Like. I like the puzzle in this game, I, I enjoy the game, but I can play this solo and be happy. So, next up we have Scarabia. So... One, two, three! Yeah, and this is a very simple game mm -hmm. where you're building these tetromino tiles around some scarabs to uh, like enclose them and get, get points. Point. Uh, that is the game. Yeah, um, it's a good game. I like it. It's 10 minutes long, but I would rather play like number nine, which is in the yes. same category. Yes, I agree. Next up, we have this. It's Jungle Speed. It's a game we always had. So one, two, three. It's another speed game. This so is that means speed game. Yeah. I win. Jungle Speed. And nobody wants to play it with me, so I have to play it with myself, and then I win as well. Is it an app for this? <laughs> that would be very bad, like the worst app ever. But Jungle Speed is a, a really strange, fun game, but it's not good enough, so it's I, gonna... I like the size. Uh, very nice size of the bag. Nice size bag. of the bag, okay. Uh, bigger size, bigger game. And no this bag. Is, Just no uh, bag. Cyclitis. Horrible game with no bag. Okay, so one, two, three. Yeah, uh, this is one of the games in the Kemet Inish uh, Cyclitis 
series. So it's a heavy interaction. You're uh, basically like bribing the gods to do biddings for you so you can control the Greek islands, I think. Uh, my favorite of the series is Inish, and that is not in the collection, so this is a call for me. Yeah, that was, I mean, I've only played it once, like for, for many of these like new games, we will end up playing it and feeling like I had a good time, but I wasn't super entertained, and it mm. probably might be because of our group, and we're not that into the battling each other, and rolling a die to win a battle, mm, not so much mm. a fan of that, even though it worked here because it had some great mechanisms. Mm. But it yeah. was a fun game, but nothing I will miss. Yeah, I agree. Next up then is another Reiner Knizia game called Babylonia. This is another one we had only played once, so one, two, three, boom, yes. I knew we were going to be uh, disagreeing on this. I I like this a lot and I won, so that's probably why you're calling it because you didn't win. <laughs> I enjoy this quite a bit and I would like to play it again. Is this one I will that will stay in a collection for many years? I do not know, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I feel like this is absolutely, I get the Ignitia feeling from the game. This has some similarities to Blue Lagoon, which I've chosen to keep, mm. like this trying to get take control of the map and sneaking in before the other players, and, and it's an interactive game. Yes. I can see with more plays that it, it this is something you can master, mm -hmm. but for me, uh, I need one game in this category and Blue Lagoon is better for me. So if you need only one, then we have another one coming later as well that we will see, Oh, uh, which you haven't played. Okay. Uh, but but I want to keep Babylonia. I, yeah, I like it. Maybe in a year it will go, but for now I want to play it again. That is okay. So we are keeping that. Next up we have Darwin's Journey. This is a game that we were really excited to get. We we It was sent to us very late. No, so... it wasn't sent to us very no, late. It was no. sent to us in November and then <laughs> it just wasn't sent because the courier just felt like, no, we're going to keep this here at the office. And it, it got sent back to the publisher and then they sent it again. Now we finally have and it! And the, the tracking for it still says it has not been oh, sent. But then mm. just one day it was just laying in front of my, my stairs. This is kind of a cheating one because it's not a game that is released. But I just wanted to, to talk a bit about it before yeah. Before it ends, the 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 uh, before the uh, pre-orders or the late pledges ends. Yes. So we have only played it once and we're gonna go one, two, three. Boom. Yeah, this is great. This is so much Euro stuff. Uh, we've only played it once and I, I didn't know what I was doing. I think I lost. Yes, I you did. did. In, um, a game, in a three player game. Uh -huh. And I just see so many cool things in mm -hmm. this game that I'm just like, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that. And how do you even get points? I love this game. So. If you have not backed this uh, and you are a fan of the games that we usually are a fan of, I think you will and should should go and late patch for this. This was very good. It looks beautiful. Mm. The rules are, are are not that complicated. Like there's a lot of different things to do, and it's one of those games where you have to combo things. Mm, like you yes. have to get these combos, which I didn't do. Uh, the third player got all the combos oh, yeah. and won handsomely. He and, crushed us. And I got some points from one thing, but it wasn't enough and you just didn't go for points. But this um, is a dry Euro. You're basically just going off some tracks. Moving on different tracks, yeah. basically. But but it felt like you had to move on this track to be able to move on this track and you try to do all And very interesting work replacement as well. Yes. yes. So, so much good stuff in this game. So I, I, like this is one of those games, like I was sad we weren't getting it for the Kickstarter yeah, because then we would so have sad. been able to play it more. Yes. Now we have to play it once and put it on the shelf. But we're going to play it again because yes. we're keeping the and we might like in a year. Not on that shelf. That is the, the oh, call. No, no, no! Just... You almost killed it because no. it's the party. Like can't the table, take them back. like table eats the games. Eats the games. So now we have Lost Cities, another Ranikinisia game, and this is one of the first games we got together. I'm gonna move this one over here now because I don't have the room for more so many games. Lost Cities is this game. So one, two, three, boom! Yes, I knew we were gonna go here. And I just can't. Because it's an app. <laughs> no, no, I just can't. Like this okay. game, we have played this game over a hundred times. Oh, yeah. And this is one, like this might be the last game I will keep for nostalgia. Mm. 
because this was the only three first games we bought together. One we have, but you haven't played. Mm. Uh, and then we have this we have played a hundred times together. So this is like one of the most important games I feel in our collection. Yeah, this is very important to me because we bought this. <laughs> you as want a... to kill it? It doesn't mean anything <laughs> to you anymore. <laughs> this is one of the games that uh, I actually enjoyed playing with you because yeah, in the beginning when we started playing games, you won all the time. It was I'm a very sore loser. I'm just so. thinking back to that and be like. Hmm. <laughs> but this game, it has a lot of luck. It's like. It's a little push your luck, uh, mm. like deciding what what colors to like pull yourself into. You don't have maybe all the cards. You have to like see what comes next. But it's very lucky. But that means that I also had the chance to win. So this was a game that I very much enjoyed. Mm. It's an app, so I'm playing that a little one now, and it's very nice travel size, but it doesn't hit the table as often anymore. So that is why I called it. But um. It, it, it on my list it has call question mark so I was very unsure. But this is like this is this is one that we we will play, and even like we might just see it on chat and be like oh let's play that it's like ten minutes and we'll just have a nice time. Yeah, and it doesn't take much much space, so I so, I yeah. agree. This is like a key forever for me because of oh. that like history of that. But you oh, don't care nice. that much about. Yeah, me. I'm cold and. Yeah, like, that's true. That's just who you cool. are. Cool. Yes. So next up. Second chance. Oh, second chance. Thank you. This is a Tetris Window style game by Yuri Rosenberg. Oh, we're going to do this first. I have forgotten. Yes. One, two, three, boom. Yeah, this is just like his one of his simplest ones. And the simple things might uh, be the best, but I don't think so. I think Patchwork is better, for, for example. I think some of his other games are better. This is very simple, so if you want like a very pure, just laying Tetris, you know, pieces, nice, but uh, there's so many games. It feels like there, this was made in like an evening. I'm probably not, like it's probably more, but it's like, I don't, I play this game and I feel like, where is the design? Like mm. you flip a card and you draw that card. Yeah. And that's the whole game. Yep. And that, that's the actual whole game. Like there's one more rule. And, and that's it. So yeah. yeah, not a very like an okay game, but not anything amazing. So when talking about patchwork, we played patchwork. Oh uh, yeah. So you basically spoiled that. Oh. So let's do that. One, two, three, boom. This was no surprise. No, I'm not at all. Like this is a great game. Not much to say about this. We have talked about this again a lot on the this channel before. This has been on so many of my top lists lately. Yes. You're probably sick of hearing about how much I like this game. And the last time, I even won. Uh, Which I don't think ever happened I let anytime. you win, I'm just kidding. No, you did not. No, I did not. I, okay. I, I, I was not happy about that. Then we have Bloody In. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to vote first. One, two, three. You're going to kill this? Oh my gosh, you're crazy. This is an amazing game. I love the hand management and multi-use cards in this game. I also love the theme. You're like running this inn where you're... Burying people and killing them first. Burying them, taking their money. So why do you want to call this game? This game, I love the thing. Yeah? And I love the thought of playing a game. Mm. And then when I played the game, I was like, okay, that's a good game. But it's not that good. But you're wrong. It's it's an okay game. Like, I'm, I might have rated it like a 6 or something now. Really? Like, it's a, it's a fine game. And I knew I really we like were not going to call it. But I wanted to, like, this is my... This is what I feel like. Yeah, it. And I, this would be your decision if yeah, I wasn't here. And you're here and we're not going to call yeah, it. Yeah, we're not going to call it. Uh, of I, course I knew not. that, but it's... Like, I felt myself sitting there playing it. I'm feeling like, okay, I liked the idea of it better than actually playing it. Mm, yeah. So I like playing it better than the idea. So, I guess we're different. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is the bloody end. There's only a couple more to go. Now we have silver and gold. Yes. One, two, three, boom, yes. Just a small little flip and ride game. It's fine. It's actually quite fun. Yeah. But there's just so many of these. And the more of these I play, the more I maybe realize they're not my genre of mm, games. Yeah. I still like enjoy them and it's fun to try them out, but it was just an okay game. Yeah, not one of my favorite flip and rides or roll and rides, uh, but it's it's a nice game. Absolutely. Yeah, we only like a couple of that, those I feel. Next up we have Avenue. Okay. So one, two, three. Yeah, you go first. This, before we play this, yep. I was sure I was going to do Co. Yep. And then the whole time I played, I was like, I like this game a lot. Mm. 
Because for, for before we played, I was like, oh, we have Tracer to Conan, the other one from the same same publisher. Uh, uh, and I was thinking, oh, but we don't need it. And then we played, and this just turned around in my mind because it's different, and it's just fun, and I like it. And it's one of those, it's it's kind of, it's kind of harsh, but it's just oh, yeah. a fun game to play. This is one of the most punishing uh, roll and writes there is mm -hmm. I, uh, that I have played. Uh, I really like it. It's um, in the same like j j genre, like uh, mechanisms wise as Karuba. I yeah. know a lot of people love Karuba. And if you like Karuba, I think you should definitely check this out. I like this better than Karuba. Um, but I, yeah, I, I'd i rather play, for example, uh, Trails of Kana. What do you think? Should we keep this or call this? You can have the final say on oh, this. Oh, it's so hard, like, because... When will we play it? It was just, it was so fun to play it again. Mm, it was. But it is another, it's a game, oh... Yeah, this was, this hard. was hard. So I... Mm. This had also a call question mark behind it. Yeah, so this I was very unsure, because I really liked the game. So this might be like when we do a new genre, like it's going to be like this, where this is going to be this for now. Mm -hmm. But if we at the end of the year we have not reached our goal, yeah. maybe it will go on the other pile. Like yeah. if we go into December and it's like, oh, we need to give away like 20 more games, maybe we can give this away. Okay. Is that yeah. okay with you? Okay. Okay, cool. That is Avenue. Next up we have another big game called Five Tribes. Yes. So you ready? Yep. I'm just gonna get my paddle. Okay, one, two, three, boom. Oh! What? Ah, really? <laughs> okay, so... I was 100% sure you were gonna be called, we were gonna I would, be agree on I this. was 100% sure that you were going to keep it. What? What is going on? Because before we started playing this game, it's been a long time. Oh yeah. Very long time. It's been sitting on our shelf. I didn't really like it the first times I played it. And I was just like, you've suggested it a few th times. And I was just like, eh, five tribes. What is the deal with that? I've had a very unpopular opinion about this game. And then we played it now. And I was just like, huh. I really like the Mancala in this game. I love that mechanic. Mm -hmm. Everything else is just, uh, nah. But I really was like... Okay, this is actually a better game than I thought, and I I really thought that you were going to keep this. Do we need to keep a game where you say you like one mechanism and the rest is meh? Yeah, this is keep with a question mark. So for me, I like the game, but the AP in the beginning is just horrendous. Oh yeah, yeah. And the game is, is good, but yeah. it's not one I will choose or all the other games. And mm. it's not one where I feel like, oh, it fits just into, oh, it's really great for gateway, or it's really great for party, or it's really mm. great for this. It is a medium strategy game, and for that category, I just have so many games that I like mm. better. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to call it. Yeah. It wasn't like a one I would fight you on no. at all, but I was so sure that you were going to keep it. Yeah, I was really sure you were going to call it. So I'm we sure actually we actually gonna... like been, uh, we started out opposite and then we, hmm. We did a uh, switch from you. Okay, so yes. only four more games to go. That we have, oh, wrong game, wrong game. <laughs> we have that game as well, but that's not the game that's coming up. This is the game. It's nations. Nations. So one, two, three, boom. Yeah, this Easy. this is on our top fifty of yeah. all time. I think it's near. I think it's in my top ten actually. Uh, this is a Euro style save building game, mm -hmm. um, and I I think this is the closest to loving a save game that I can get. Yeah. It's just like it's taken. But the closest to loving it, you do love it. I love it, yeah. <laughs> but I think this is the perfect save game in my opinion. Yeah. Um, it's it's clearly made for Euro gamers. I think if you want to like bash heads and go kill each other, this is not the game for you. No. Nope. Um, but this is. I am so glad we got to play it again because this is one that is always fun to play. Yeah, it's an amazing game. Not much else to say. It's just one pure amazing game. Yes. Next up, we have another one we only played once, and that is a Croft Wagon. So one, two, three, boom. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a fun game. It's the same designer who did Glenmore, which is a better game. It has some nice mechanisms, but mm. it was just like it was another euro game like it's yeah. another okay good euro game so yes. nothing amazing not anymore not much to say basically i agree that. so two more then we have nations There's a pile of oh, it, games oh you in. see the pile yes. oh no it's almost falling apart okay so we're seeing that game there. it doesn't matter nations the dice game 
Are you ready? Oh yeah, we're doing that. Yes. One, two, three, boom. Oh, it does matter. So yeah, we're gonna move <laughs> this. Ah, perfect. Yeah, uh, I, I, we have played it once before and then twice now. Mm. So you might have played more. No. Yeah. Yeah. And the first time I played it, I was just like, oh, this is a nice uh, dice game. It's not anywhere near being as good as Nations or Nations. But uh, of all the implementations I have played, this is one of the better. But when, then we played it again and I was just like, oh, there's a lot of luck in this game. You can mitigate it with some rerolls, but really... I want to play something else. Yeah, it's, it's just random. It has some, 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 like choice, but it's very random, and I did not like it a lot. Yeah, mm, so cool. Yeah, absolutely. And then we have the last game, which is another one that just arrived from Kickstarter. And it's always like to sit down and play a Kickstarter game the first time and then choose to keep or call it. But that's just how this is going to be now. If yeah, we have to do it this if way. If it's not going to be a game where yeah. we're going to do content for, that's something. Else. Yeah, because if we do it like more thoroughly than we do it now, we will not get through this. No, but it, like it really depends. Like some games I play and I feel like, oh, I know what I feel. Oh, yeah. But others I don't know yes, after one play. Absolutely. So that's going to be a key for them. Yeah. So one, two, three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is another uh, roll and write game. It has some nice mechanisms. Uh, it's actually like if you like roll and writes and you want something that has a bit more depth mm. to it, I think you will like this. I had yes. fun, but I think other people will enjoy it more. So that's basically why we're giving it away. Yeah, I like the like um, map look of mm -hmm. this game. It looks really cool, and uh, I I see there is many different things here that I might enjoy. Uh, but it had for first time play. It had very many like small detail rules and I always had to be like, oh, is this, is this building this road? Is mm -hmm. this allowed? Can I do this? This will be get better with a few plays. But as the way we play games, yeah. we will not play this enough for it not to be fiddly each time for me. Yeah, that is true. And those are the games for now. So here we have all of the games we are keeping. That is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 games we're keeping. 11 with nations down here. And that means there's also going to be like 11 here. 1, 2, oh, yeah. 3, 4, there's 5, two 6, here 7, down 8, 9. As well. Yes, yeah, so that's 11 50%. More. Yeah, that's actually 50%. Yeah. So, so far now we have then played 46 games in two weeks. We have called then 25 and we have kept 21. Yeah. So it's like almost, I think those almost numbers are, are, are correct. My yeah. brain might have done a, a, a boo-boo. But those are basically the stats for now. So it's almost like a 50-50 for now. Mm. Some bigger games this week. It was fun. Uh, next week, like this week, we're joined, starting on right after recording this. It's going to be Kramer and Kiesling. So Kramer, or and Kiesling. Yes. So it's going to be the games they have made together and games they had not made together so that is coming next week and that is the end of the video if you are still here and you have not subscribed please do so now it's free and it makes us happy like this <laughs> if you want to do something that's not free you can go to patreon.com slash board gaming ramblings and support us there that helps a lot and that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching i'm johannes i'm cinema and you've been watching board gaming ramblings and bye bye